So I'm going to give a quick demonstration of eQuake, uh, which is a Emacs package um, constituting a drop-down console um, in the style of uh, Quake or Yawquake, um, but written in Elisp. Right? So it works um, from Emacs, works cross-platform, anywhere you have Emacs, um, you can have eQuake. Um, so this is eQuake. Um, so you can see um, that uh, this is eQuake running eShell, um, and um, well, this isn't a talk on eShell, but just to show eShell quickly. So eShell, you can do regular terminal commands of various sorts. Um, you can have nice things like completions, like you could have in ZShell or, or Fish, um, and you can run all the same sort of terminal commands you'd regularly be running. Um, but in addition, you can run uh, Lisp elisp commands as well. And you can mix that so you can then run um, regular terminal commands and then you can even mix uh, terminal commands and elisp commands together um, and it works. Right? Okay. Um, so eShell e is cool for all sorts of reasons and in fact it was wanting to use eShell more was was the impetus for me uh, creating eQuake uh, because I found I wanted to e use eShell but I'm so used to drop down terminals that I ended up using other terminals um, and I wanted something uh, so you can do sort of tricks like you can in uh, yawquake you could set um, eQuake terminal Emacs running eQuake as your default shell but the problem is that doesn't give you nice GUI stuff so you wouldn't be able to do um, things like this, for instance, um, where you open up in your in your console, where you open up images, for instance. Right? And so it's nice to have all of those, all of the features of of GUI Emacs uh, at your disposal. Okay. So um, eShell has tab management, so you can see here's tab zero. We can create a new tab, so we can use tab one, tab two, tab three, and so on. And we can navigate between these. Right. Um, we could navigate the tabs. Um, we can rename the tabs. Right. Whatever we want. We can have these different tab names. Um, and then we can reorder the tabs, in fact. So if we want to move this one to the end, or in fact move it to the beginning, and so on. So we can do all of those things. In addition, you can also if you don't want to open up eShow, you could open also open up something like um, ANSI term. Right? You could run ANSI term. Um, you can open up uh, shell. Uh, you can open up plain term, and so on. And if you see here, so eQuick indicates to you um, what mode it's running in. So this is some sort of term, There's shell, it's ANSI term, is eShell, and so on. Um, I've also added recently experimental support for Rash, which is a shell written in Racket and Racket Scheme. Um, it's similar in a sense to eShell in that you can run regular terminal commands as well as running um, uh, Racket functions. So you can do the, all the normal uh, things that you would do um, in a shell, but then you could also do things like, let's say, um, I want to uh, essentially pipe the output of ls um, to uh, Racket's uh, upcasing function and then show all the files, right? or maybe I want to show the org files and so on. And so I can pipe from ls into a Racket function and then pipe that um, to another, to another uh, function like grep, another shell function like grep. Um, we can even do more complicated things because Rash lets you uh, mix, sort of recursively mix uh, shell commands and racket code. So if we wanted to, um, for instance, uh, write a function um, which is going to take shell input but then ap applies, take shell input, parse it into a Lisp, and apply some racket function to it. So we could do something like this. Well, let me do this first. Um, so 
we're going to do this. Straight up hand. Um, and then we're going to um, split up the output of um, ls um, into a list of strings, and to each of those strings we're going to stick, well, we're going to sort of glue other strings on the outsides of it, but even inside of this um, shell function we can still um, call uh, bracket functions. So we can do this, right? And see there, it's um, upcased each of the uh, contents of the directory, and to each one of them, um, wrapped it in this string. Right? And we can, of course, do other fun things. We can then pipe this to something else, like CalSay, right? and so on. Right? So, um, eQuick gives you the, the, the typical sorts of um, uh, tabbed environment that you would expect from a drop down terminal. Um, but lets you do all these cool sorts of lips, lispy things. Right. Um, you can uh, customize uh, eQuake in various ways. You can change the color and size and um, typeface of the font independently of the font that's used in the rest of Emacs. You can set different default shells other than other than eShell. You can change the key bindings for, for tab navigation. Um, and, and customize other sorts of things, um, like the facing for the um, shell mode indicators, the, so the height and width and transparency of the, of the eQuake frame. Um, eQuake works well um, cross-platform. Um, it has essentially first-class support for Stump Window Manager, which is what I'm using it in here. So here's some um, uh, courtesy code. Um, which makes it work well in Stump. Um, the other place where I use it a lot is in KDE Plasma 5, and here's some instructions for getting it to behave nicely in, in Plasma. Um, I played with a little bit in Awesome. Um, Gnome Shell, it works in both X11 and Wayland, um, but I'm not sure um, how to handle the window rules to make um, it behave more like a drop-down console, but I'm sure that's, that's manageable. Okay, so that's that's just a quick demo uh, for for eQuick.